So I just bought this Schwinn Windrigger rowing machine, second hand, um, and I, when I was researching it, I couldn't find many videos on YouTube about them, so I thought I might put this on there. They don't make them anymore, so it's only going to be good for anyone buying them second hand. It seems like a pretty solidly built machine. Like this main, you know, back bit is about 30 kgs, slightly over 30 kgs with the covers and that back piece on. It kind of looks to me like it's it's maybe a bit over engineered. Well, in terms of, I mean. I wonder if maybe the reason they stopped making it was because it, compared to the other rowing machines, a lot of them, it seems quite complicated. But like it's got the fan, that's all steel. And then it looks like it's got two springs on either side, which retract the belt. That's just sitting there out of the way. But yeah, it's quite a, um, I'm quite impressed with it. Certainly much better than the small rower that I bought just previously. So if you get one of these and you need to fit it in a small car, uh, the tools you will need will be a 10mm Allen key to undo these bolts, which there's four of them that go through the bottom, that they go through there and into here. There's a couple of holes under there. Well, there's a whole heap. But anyway, two of them have threads for two bolts, and then there's another two bolts that go through these two holes, and this plate with uh, threads in it goes on top of that, and I screw into that. And you'll need a spanner, I think it's a 19mm nut, to undo the nut, which is on one of them. And to get the Allen key in there, because the if you want to leave the um, plastic on, you'll like an Allen key like that is long enough to reach. You'll just need something like a tube or something to stick on the end so that you can get enough torque on there to undo it. And for the screws for the uh, little console thing. They are a 5mm Allen key, and it's the same for the back um, foot thing. And so, like, pulling it apart like that, I was able to fit it easily into an uh, old Mazda Protégé, no problems. Well, it was easier to pull apart than it is to put together. I'm having to take the um, pedal things off because the straps are kind of pushing against this plate, so I wasn't able to get it in.